Aloha, Scott Sullivan Bell coming live from Sacramento, California, July 2nd, 2016. I don't know, 10.37 in the morning. Perfect day to talk about sales. It's always a perfect day to talk about sales. We're talking about selling to difficult clients and dealing with difficult clients. So we've gone through that the person is either typically scared or they're taking something out on you, okay? Or it could be that they want to make sure that you're the right person and that you're not going to run away in the face of danger. It could very well be that that's just the type of person they are. But as a good reminder to you, when you have a difficult buyer, usually they don't like to switch people, okay? They don't like to go back and forth. And then as a good reminder as well, you know, the customer's not always right, but it doesn't give you an excuse to be abusive yourself. You can politely say, hey, it's time for us to part ways. We're not the right company for you. And you're going to find that a lot of times when you reject somebody before they reject you, they come back and they get upset. And I found that sometimes by rejecting a person very politely, not aggressively, right, in the right circumstances, they come back and they end up being a client because I put them in check and said, hey, look, this is an acceptable course of action. You're not treating me the right way. I'm going to do everything I can to help you, but you can't treat me this way. Okay. So the last thing is, the last thing Ask them for the business. Sometimes salespeople get so frazzled and so upset by dealing with a difficult client, like it slips their mind that they don't ask that person. They don't say, hey, let's do business. They're so caught up in saying, oh my goodness, this person's horrible or it took so much time and effort because it does take energy out of you. If you deal with a difficult buyer, there are times where you oh my goodness, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. And there's that feeling. And there's sometimes by dealing with that person, you just absolutely forget, hey, you know what, all I need is your permission, let's go ahead and move forward, or I just need you to give me a credit card, or I just need you to get me whatever the thing is, however you ask for the deal. I just gave you a couple of different ways. Whatever way you do it, right? I'm not you, whatever way you do it. But ask for the sale. And that person, if you've stuck in with them and give them everything they want, got their buying criteria, chances are really good. They're gonna say, yeah, let's go ahead and do it, right? Every other salesperson was scared. They didn't wanna give me anything. They just ran out. They gave me a hit and run. They came in here, slapped something on the table, found out I was difficult, and then took off, okay? So ask him for the business. I know that a lot of times you get tired, huh, difficult stuff, okay? Now, if you could do a small favor for me, I'm asking for the business, right? I am. <laughs> in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story. That'd be fantastic. To the right or left, there's a subscribe button. You know what you gotta do, you gotta subscribe. And then you can send it out to all your friends via StumbleUpon, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, why not even LinkedIn? Scott Sullivan Bell. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, aloha.